Hello YouTube. Thought I'd share with you my new upgrade. Foot pedals. So I just purchased Nylonove. Hopefully that's how you pronounce it. Nylonove plastic polyamide foot pedals. They look pretty sweet. I like how they're sculpted on the edges underneath. They don't look as though as they get scratched and dented that they'll look terrible because it's probably through and through black. A uh, few reasons why. <clears throat> why did I choose these or why did it why have they been on my list? Well, one, they're plastic, but most importantly, because they're angle adjustable. Via these two set screws here, adjustable from the top. So on the in motion, if you're at all familiar with the block, this is where the set screw, screws would rest when the plate is open. So they're adjustable from zero to like 20 degrees. That's a guesstimate, but I'm sure that I think that's pretty close. For the V11 model, it comes in two different styles, the full pedal and then a cutout pedal. I chose the cutout in hopes that when I fold it, it's gonna clear my power pads, the bottom of my power pads. That's why a cutout exists. <clears throat> Hopefully that's gonna work out. I like this overlay. This is available in like eight different colors. Nice gripper set screws. I don't think they're stainless, but they're certainly height adjustable and replaceable. I think these are gonna be nice in that they should absorb vibration and have a little bit of flex to them. Um, so hopefully the ride is a little bit more comfortable. Super excited. All right, let's, um, I, oh, I bought these from, <clears throat> I don't know if you can buy these in the States. I bought them from Frank at EUC custompowerpads.com. I'm not sure if he's the creator slash maker of these, but he certainly carries them. I think he's the creator. Um, he's out of Denmark. So with the exchange rate and shipping to the US was 244. It's too bad because I was in Denmark for two weeks. Had I known, I would have bought them there. You know what's really cool too? These are the open concepts, so the dirt and pebbles are gonna fall through compared to having a solid plate like this. Um, I don't know if it's coincidence or not. I'll have to find this out. It almost seems like this center hole was designed for two fingers, which I find fascinating because I have trouble picking the wheel up, like if I'm putting it in a car or something. Usually I fold the plate and I'll grab this bottom block with a couple of fingers, which is awkward. It's still risky of slipping. And you know, this thing's like 70 pounds. Uh, I think it's about 70 pounds. So it's not easy to lift. You have the top handle, sure, but nothing to grab the bottom. It's almost like this is designed perfectly for two fingers, so when it's folded, you just whoop. I wonder how that's going to be. Let's find out. All right, let's get this original one off. So I've been using this for a whole year, over a year. Super happy, but that's because I modified this block. I took 8 or 10 degrees off this aluminum block, which allowed the plate to open down more so it wasn't such a steep angle there's a video on that why i did it how i did it 
but it's the reason why I held off on buying these pedals for so long because these have been super comfortable the way they are. They're set for me at about 85 degrees and they've been marvelous. I've loved them. Um, and f for those, I don't know, I'm going to throw this in there. I bought these long ago when I first bought the wheel. I ran these f once. I hated them. They're solid aluminum, look like they're CNC'd. That's the other thing. These, these are CNC'd. These are not like 3D printed. This is like a solid piece of industrial grade plastic that's been CNC'd. So these are CNC'd aluminum with a bunch of cap screws as grippers that really don't work. They, they weren't very aggressive. I didn't like the feel. I thought it rode stiff. There's no dampers inside the pedal here. So they didn't stay up and they're very clanky. You could, you could hear the clunk. So that's just my two cents on these. I wouldn't waste my money on these for what it's worth. You guys might feel different, but that's just my opinion. Hated them. So I've been using these for this whole time. They're like cast aluminum, I'm going to guess. They're kind of hollow underneath. But they're so much more comfortable. And that's probably maybe because they're cast instead of billet. But what's also different about these two, I'll point this out. See, this, before I take it off, this pedal, see how it stays where you put it? Which is nice. If you didn't have power pads, you would fold this up. It would stay folded. So if you're carrying the wheel or navigating the wheel alongside you in traffic, amongst pedestrians, wherever, in a store, you know, you're not riding it. You're just wheeling it alongside you with the trolley handle. This is almost must be folded. Otherwise, it's just gonna, it's just gonna clip your leg as you're trying to walk alongside of it. So this was designed so that when you fold it, there's little bushings in this version, not the honeycomb version. But this original version has rubber bushings in here, which allows this to have friction so it'll stay where you put it which is really nice for keeping it in a folded position. But what's not nice about it is more than once, several occasions, I've come close to wiping out because when you go to take off on the wheel, for those who of you who already ride, you already can attest to this. After a while, you don't look down to where you're putting your foot. You know where your foot goes. You push off. With the one foot, you go to load the other foot on the other side of the wheel. For some reason, whether it's your own leg or something that bumps this and pushes it up, you go to put your foot on it blindly, and it's not there. And it, it can throw you, especially if you take off aggressively. With no place to put the foot, really messes you up, can cause a mishap. So that for that reason, I don't like that at all so on these new plates there is no internal bushing or or tightness in the pin at all so the pedal is just going to flop down and i'll show you that after i put it on and i'll tell you why that's a good thing let's get this one off Okay, four millimeter set screw. We need to loosen this on the bottom. That's what keeps this pin from creeping. Let's drive this out. Okay. Now, watch 
much it there's a couple spaces in here that I'm gonna go for a ride. pedal this wedge goes in the front in case you didn't already know that I'm guessing it goes under the ball of foot or just behind the toes we'll have to see looks pretty nice I think it's going to add in the ability to accelerate and it should be more comfortable let's see all right Okay, I already put the other side on, so we only got one side here to do. The second spacer is a little tricky. All right, that went pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna center this pin. Good. Tighten the set screw. Okay, so <clears throat> these are your two adjustment screws to raise or lower the angle of the plate. Okay, self explanatory. A little trick. Where is it? This piece of plastic here. This is super thin plastic sheet that I use to cover things before spray painting. Um, super thin. You don't have to use plastic, but anything super thin. What you want to do is make sure that both of these set screws are in contact at the same time. You don't want one to be making contact and one to be close to making contact. So the way you can tell is just put something in there, put some pressure on the plate, see if it holds, see if it holds. That way you know they're equally set in position because otherwise it doesn't take much. I learned when I was dialing these in, not even an eighth of a turn makes a difference on these because they're coarse threaded. So it doesn't take much to move them. And if one has contact and one is close to contact, but not quite, you're going to get some flex, some twist in the pedal. And you, you don't want, you don't want that. So one little trick that I came across in setting them. Uh, let's see. Now let's get it up. I'll show you roughly what I have for an angle. So I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up. All right, so I've got these set roughly 85 degrees. That's what I'm going to start out with. I know I like somewhere between 85 and 90. So 90 being to this vertical plate that I'm using. I've already squared and determined the angle. Normally from the factory, they're going to be oof, somewhere around 80, maybe even high 70s of an angle, referencing this. So 90 would be square to this plate. You close that up a little by 5 degrees, you come up with the 85 degrees. So leading, getting back to why I like no friction, in the fold up of the pedal, because if this accidentally gets bumped during my takeoff, it's gonna fall back down. 
So when I go to blindly put my foot there, it's always going to be there, okay? But because it has no friction or hold, when you want to fold the pedal, that's going to be a problem because they're not going to stay folded. In my case, that doesn't apply for two reasons. On this design, there's two magnets embedded right here, which is a super nice touch, that sync up perfectly with the factory three millimeter flathead countersunk screws that would hold on this whole skirt, side skirt. I actually have my backing plate mounted to the skirt and then I put the longer screws in. But these magnets, if I didn't have power pads, these magnets would sync up with these two screws. Now this only applies to the V11. Other models are gonna have different arrangements, but on this, for this particular model, the magnets would keep this folded if you didn't have power pads. I'm not gonna have a problem with this because my power pads have grooves in them, four, one, two, three, four, notch. These notches are so that if, depending where you set your power pad, when you fold the pedal, I locked out really, um, cause it's, it's perfect. But this will clip the first groove and if I forced it in more, it would catch the second groove which holds the pedal for me for transporting it. Perfect. Couldn't ask for anything more. So I gained on this. I don't have this problem anymore. The pedal will always fall. My power pads will hold it in the upright position for transport. Perfect. Got my angles dialed in. Let's get this thing on the ground. See what it feels like. Yes, I think this is going to be so much easier to pick it up. All right, stay tuned. Okay, there's something else I just came to realize that I love. Lifting the wheel. Come on, my fingers right through the openings here and lift. Oh, what a difference. That's awesome. So that's a huge plus. Let's see where this thing lines up on my foot. Nice. Yeah, still easy on, easy off. I think I like. Give it a few whirls. How loading and unloading is going to be. Nice. Pretty comfy. How about offloading? Nice. It's easy to get the foot out quick. Quick on. I don't feel like the grippers are not allowing me to get my foot out quickly, which is nice, very nice. Can't wait to take these out for an hour and a half. I don't know if you can tell the angle of my feet. Very comfortable. Let's see what they're like going over a bunch of bumps though, right? Looking forward to it. Liking very much 
keep you guys posted. I'll let you know what it's like after riding on them for an hour and a half. Thanks for watching.